A fair coin is tossed twice. Find the probability that both tosses come up heads. To the left of this bar will be the way that this question would have been answered in chapter 2. And to the right of the bar will be the way that this question will be answered in chapters 3 through 8 using random variables. Now off on the left you have the sample space for this particular random experiment as heads 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 tails tails heads and tails tails the event of interest is heads heads and because this is a fair coin all four of those outcomes are equally likely so the probability of the event e which is tossing two heads is one fourth now with random variables we're going to define the random variable capital X to be the number of heads tossed. In this case uh, script A which is the support of the random variable will be all possible values of that random variable and you can get 0, 1, or 2 heads and the event of interest here is the probability that we get exactly two heads. In this case the probability X is an element of A is one-fourth because the probability of getting two heads is one out of four for the same reason as in this particular solution to the problem. So to draw a diagram of this over on the uh, far left hand side we have the random experiment which is tossing a fair coin twice and then just to the right of that we have a sample space and the sample space uh, has heads 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 tails tails heads tails tails the event of interest is HH and so that event is labeled E then we define a random variable X to be the number of heads and you can get 0 1 or 2 heads in this case the event A or I should say the set A is simply 2 and that's the one that is mapped from heads heads and in fact if you wanted to take these others there are the two that map to one head and that right there maps to zero heads so the sample space is analogous to the uh, support script A and our event of interest E here maps to the set A now on the next page if you continue that you have X and the probability X equals little x for 0 1 and 2 you get probabilities 1 fourth 1 half and 1 fourth those three probabilities show how the probability is distributed over the three values of the support of X and that's where you get the term probability distribution we're showing how that probability is distributed over the support values how can you tell if you have a discrete or a continuous random variable? A random variable X is discrete if the support script A is countable and by countable that means X is a discrete random variable if script A is finite as it was in this case there's just three um, elements in script A or if X is a discrete random variable X is a discrete random variable if A is denumerable.